Hey guys, it's Shade. I just want to start by saying I'm so sorry that I told you guys I was going to do a move-in day vlog and that totally flopped. I got like maybe 30 seconds of footage before I left the house. I was like, oh, it's not 45. We're leaving the house and I'll keep you guys updated. And then the camera wasn't even in the car with me that I was driving here. It was in my dad's car and I don't even, I don't think it actually got brought in until like one of the last loads. So... Also, I didn't want to be like carrying the camera around while I was trying to carry all this stuff in and it was, it was so hectic, it was crowded, everybody was everywhere trying to get stuff in. I mean, I've never seen something so crazy. I don't think it would have been possible. Then the rest of the day was so hectic, I felt like I was just always doing something. I just There was no way I could have done this. So I was just like, you know what? No way, I'm not doing it. So what I'm going to do today is actually tell you guys about my movement day. So kind of like my experience. Um, so, you know, if you want to know, or if you're going to move into college next year and you kind of want to know what it's like, especially here at EKU, this is a good video for you to watch because I'm kind of going to go into detail with everything that happened and what we did and how it happened. So, let's get started. Okay, so basically, I woke up about 7.30 that morning and packed the rest of my stuff, showered, got ready. I just wore like a regular t-shirt and a pair of like Nike shorts and socks and tennis shoes. Because I knew that uh, it was going to be hot, it was going to be raining, and I was going to be doing a lot of packs. So the drive is about two and a half, two, two hours and 15 minutes, I guess is how long it is. I don't know. I've never actually timed it, but that's what everybody says. Um, once we got here, the traffic was horrible. We had to go, like, like, we took a ride at a red light, and we went, like, down the street with, like, a bunch of red lights and stuff to, like, bypass some of the traffic, and then, like, cutting into campus. It was just, like, so many cars. It took us... Took that alone was like 30 minutes, so we were a little bit late for our moving home, but it was like between 12.45 and 1.30 since. Okay. So we got here, and I was like screaming at everybody, being such a brat, because we like passed up the parking lot, and I was like, I told you we should have parked there, and I was just like stressing out, and it was really nothing to stress over because it didn't matter, so we found the parking lot, and they like put the little time on our window that we were supposed to be out by, which we were probably not out for like five more hours after that. Um, anyways. So we start unloading, and I've never seen so many people with so much stuff in my life in one place. And we have like dollies with stuff, like refrigerators, microwaves, all my crap was like loaded up. I was carrying stuff. My mama was carrying it. My mom, my dad, like everyone was here. Um, they left the parents to carry all the stuff in basically while the student went and checked in. So we went and checked in, got our room key, our key fob to get into the dorm, our parking pass, just all kinds of papers and stuff we had to fill out. So we did that. I basically didn't have to carry like two loads of stuff in, so I'm actually thankful for that. But the elevator was so crowded, I walked all the way up to my floor, which is the 10th floor out of 11 in this building, which sucked, and I still had some stuff in my hands, and I also had to walk back down. And um, when I got here, my roommate and her parents were already here, so I got to meet them, and uh, my roommate's really awesome. I can't wait for you guys to meet her. I'll probably do a roommate tag in a couple months just to let us get to know each other better. Um, we hardly know each other. We just texted when we found out we were roommates, and she's really awesome. I really like her. I think we're going to be getting along great, so that's a good thing. So basically, our room looked like about this big, and my mom was freaking out. She was like, oh my god, I don't know what you're going to do, but... Tiffany, ha Tiffany is my roommate. Tiffany had an idea, and she was like, okay, we're going to put your bed here, we're going to put mine here, we'll put our fridges here and here, and we, like, pushed the drawers under the bed. Her dad, like, lifted our beds for us. We've got it all figured out. It looks ten times better. I'm actually, like, very satisfied with the way that it all turned out, so I'm actually going to do a dorm tour probably in the next week or so. We still aren't finished with everything. We have a lot to put up. Maybe a few more decorations to get. I'm not sure yet. So I'll probably be looking for that within the next two weeks at least because um, our classes start on Monday. So I'm not sure how hectic it's going to get. So it took us a couple hours to move everything in, like maybe two or three, and get it all set up and then put stuff in our closets. And after we did all that, I was like, okay, my plan was to go out and eat with my mom and my mama and tell them bye and to go to the store. Well, we have these things for Big E Welcome, which is like a little lanyard with your name and your person on it. And you had to meet at a certain place at 5.45. And it's like 4 o'clock when this happens. And I'm like, there's no way I'm going to have all this time to go do all this stuff. So my mama and my mom, being the sweethearts that they are, went to the store to get me a crap ton of food. They totally, like, stocked me up. And they brought that back at, like, 8 o'clock. So. so they took care of that while I had to go do this big e-welcome thing, which I was expecting to be pretty fun. But it was actually very stupid. It's going on all week. And here I am in my dorm instead of participating in it. Um, I'll get to that later. So we met with our person, she's really sweet, and we're in a group of like 
10, 15 people. I think actually it might have been 20. I think we're in a group of 20 people and I had one girl that I actually really liked in there. So I was like satisfied or whatever. It's raining outside so I was pretty ticked off at that actually. Um, so we sat inside of a, it's like a church thing. I'm not really sure. Um, and like there was like four other groups in there and it was so hot. And they talked to us and told us what we were going to be doing. And I was like, sounds pretty boring, but whatever, I went. So we walk outside in the pouring rain. Every freshman, like all 2,000, however many of us there, there are, are outside. Probably more than 2,000. I don't know. We were all outside in one place in front of a statue, or like a building or whatever. And the president came out to talk to us. And he was just, you know, giving his motivational speech. And it was raining. And I was like, I just want to go home. Not home. I just want to go back to my dorm. And... So that was over, and he was like, we're starting traditions. And one of the traditions just happened yesterday that we had to, like, walk a mile to this new gate, which it wasn't a gate. It was just kind of like a concrete thing that goes like this, like that, and we all walked through it. I mean, it was cool. Like, the band and the cheerleaders were there, and there was all kind of, like, administrative people, and they, like, walked us through that, and then all the way back down to, like, um, this place called Alumni Coliseum, which is, like, the gym. And we walked in there and sat down like all the freshmen and like <laughs> on the floor was like two volleyball nets which wasn't didn't really make sense I didn't think and like a lot of coaches cheerleaders dance team um I, I don't think that we actually met the basketball or football team I don't know I didn't believe it but anyways so what they did was kind of introduce themselves and put on a little show played like the fight song and I was about an hour, no, probably like 30, 40 minutes into this, and my mom takes me, and she's like, I'm back with the groceries, I need your key, come help, and I was like, yes, this is my key out of this, so me and the girl that I was with, we were like, let's dip, so we actually just got up and walked out, no one said anything to us, and we got outside, and our group really, and our group leader was standing there, and we just kind of looked at her, and we were like, oh crap, so we basically kind of like ran around the corner and we made it back to our hall and um, I helped my mom and my mom carry all my stuff up here and I kind of got it settled in and then they, uh, the group was like on the football field forming a big E taking a picture um, with all their bodies which I mean it was cool I guess but I was happy to actually be in some air conditioning with no rain and then I chilled out for a little bit and I went and met my friend. Um, and we went to the big, it was supposed to be a big phone party. Uh, it was, it was okay. I mean, there was like food and it, this free t-shirt and I got this free hat, which I don't even wear hats, but I thought it was cute and it was free. So why not? So the phone party, I'm actually, I have a picture on my Snapchat, I have a video of it on my Snapchat and I'm just going to like insert it in a clip right here because I really didn't know what to think about it. So um, basically a lot of people were in there like with, with no shirts on and the girls were like in their sports bras, which not everybody, some people, and like shorts and they had the music bumping and like people was just in the foam like dancing. It was like, it looked really weird. I was like, I was like, I don't want to get in there. So like they had that going on and then over here they had like inflatables and volleyball and like on the field they had soccer where you got in like the big blow up balls and like you were protected and you just kind of got knocked around. They had all that. So I, me and my friend just kind of walked around and talked to people and we stayed for like an hour or so. And then I just walked back to my dorm because I was really tired and my feet hurt and my legs were aching. So um, if you want to know what the first day of college like moving day is going to be like, if, if you go to EKU, at least my experience, your legs are going to hurt really bad and your feet are going to hurt. Like you're going to do a lot of walking. So wear comfortable shoes. I'm glad I did. I wore tennis shoes, so that was good. And from here, me and my roommate just kind of like set up more decorations, and we just chilled out for the rest of the night. We went to sleep, and she actually got up early this morning, like I guess eight something maybe, and went back with her group. And I was just like, oh, I'm not going. So I didn't get up till like nine. And I've been with my friends from like my hometown today, and we went to Walmart, and we've been in each other's dorms, just chilling. So I'm, I'm probably gonna go to like the big movie thing tonight on campus like one of the activities or whatever they have planned for big e-week and I don't really know what else so yeah that's my uh, freshman college moving day experience I made it sound kind of bad which it was actually pretty fun I mean the weather sucked the walking sucked like it was actually really nice and like I saw a lot of people I knew I met some new friends um actually having a really good time. I like the dorm life so far. I like not being at home and being told what to do. I just kind of like being able to go do what I want when I want. 
and um, like I said, I like my roommate, and I have a lot of friends here. So uh, college for me is a big yes. Also, if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, comment what you think. If you're going to college, if you're at college, if you're a freshman in college, let me know. And like I said, you can be expecting a dorm tour um, pretty soon. I'm not sure exactly when. But I just wanted to make this because I meant to vlog yesterday. I just couldn't, so I figured maybe I'll just explain it. I don't know. Well, I hope you like it. Bye!